This is a TV camera I made in 1967. I made it completely, the scan coils, the focus coil and the mains transformer. It uses a one inch Vidicon and here is the actual transformer I wound with a mu metal shield to prevent the magnetic field interfering with the blocking oscillator of the line time base panel shown here. The original 44 year old circuit design had no focus current stabilizer consequently I had a lot of drift which I used to have to compensate with the electrical focus. Recently I've added an LM317 as a focus current regulator. This is the video amplifier board and in 1990 I changed all the transistors from germanium to silicon. On the rear of the camera are the normal controls that are associated with Vidicon cameras that of the focus volts at the top, beam current in the centre for the grid and the target volts. The vertical time base uses a blocking oscillator circuit. The design for the scan coils was taken from the British Amateur Television Club CQTV number 33 magazine in 1959. The article is still available on the internet for both focus and scan coil construction. It took me years to get the camera working because I did inadvertently wired the field and line scan coils out of phase. This is the power supply printed circuit board. The capacitors were changed in 1990 as the original ones from 1967 had deteriorated. It is a very simple power supply and did not have any form of voltage stabilization. The chassis is made of brass which I had cadmium plated in the factory where I was working as an apprentice. The lens is a 25mm C-mount television lens with the first stage FET video amplifier mounted behind it. All the PCBs I made were very crude, simply using a kiddies paintbrush and cellulose paint and then etched in the factory. Here my webcam views the results shown on an analogue TV. A close-up of my mono camera on the analog TV displaying the Philips 5544 test card. Hopefully we can see the camera and the test card it's capturing. This is a direct video feed from my mono camera into my PC capture card. The field oscillator is locked to the 50 Hz main supply producing random interlace. The vertical jitter shown here is caused by my capture program. This 625 line 720 by 576 pixel screenshot shows good vertical and horizontal linearity produced by my homemade scan coils. If I zoom in on the frequency gratings, hopefully you can see that my camera produces 3.8 megahertz. This is a direct feed from my camera into my PC capture card. This is the view from my workshop and it gives some idea of what these sort of cameras were capable of capturing. Not brilliant by today's standard but not bad for its day. And this is a small moment of vanity. This is me!